Oh my, it is so freaking cool. Look at it, look at it. Angry tractor. I love it. What is going on ladies and gentlemen, Tempest is here with you and today guys we will be taking a look at another mode. Actually guys today we are going to be taking a look at another Dust Fahar modification that really interested me so much. First of all guys as you can see this is the standard Dust Fahar here. Uh, very simple, uh, really love this structure. You know most of you know guys that this is my favorite structure in game. So this one that's uh, that's Fahar as well by the way is exact copy of our that's Fahar, but it looks better i don't know why but it is a bit wider from behind here you can also see that wheels are wider interiors in these two tractors are very alike as you can see here the only difference you can find are the logos here uh, the mat is uh, has the logo as well as the monitor here. It's got a bit of a logo. Everything else is the same. Here we can see the logo and yeah, don't expect any fancy buttons or anything like that I showed in my previous reviews. However guys, it is very solid mode because it is based on our default tractor and I really love it. You know, this is one, I'll repeat myself, this is my favorite tractor and now it is even better. So it comes in four variants and each of them is more powerful than the previous one. Although, the more powerful tractor gets, the slower it goes. As you can see, this one I think is called Speedster. It can go up to 76 kilometers per hour. That's nice. And horsepower is similar to our default one. So you can see here, guys, that um, it has 300 horsepower with 221 kilowatts of torque. So it is a bit more powerful than our standard that's Fahar with a bit more power of course here I mean with a bit more torque uh, it costs uh, 270,000 in comparison to the standard one that costs 229,000 so it is a bit more expensive so you get proportionally more power and yeah you, I can say that this mod is very good for those of you guys who like Dutch fire tractors a lot, a lot just like me and they want to see uh, different uh, power variants of it. We can find the second uh, variant of the same tractor that's called Taurus Sprint. It's got whooping 420 horsepower with 309 kilowatts of torque. That's just amazing. You, I don't think you need tractor that is more powerful than this one. In my opinion, it can just handle anything in our game. I haven't seen any equipment that requires 420 horsepower. Although you can attach ridiculous amounts of uh, trailers, I guess, and attach them uh, together. So you will need more powerful tractor in that case but for the standard for the standard in-game experience you don't need anything more than i'd say 350. next variant is 500, 540 horsepower it is just crazy here it is here it is 540 horsepower tractor and by the way guys you will notice that they are tires their rear tires are getting wider and wider the powerful the more powerful they are here you go guys you see this one is almost like our standard one although a bit a bit wider and this one is significantly significantly more wider here because it's got 400 and uh, 540 horsepower basically it needs more grip and this is my favorite one to be honest guys i even put our case here 620 because their power output is almost the same let me show you here their power output is here you go 692 horsepower and our uh, towers here it's got 660 horsepower with a uh, maximum torque of 485 kilowatts that's just crazy our rear wheels are even wider now look at that this is getting ridiculous but i like it it is just amazingly amazingly cool uh what else what else can we see from outside i love the uh, widening of the exhaust tube here it's just it just gives more power uh to the tractor in my opinion what else uh, the uh, frontal uh hood here is uh widened as well you can see there is uh, some sort of carbon fiber uh, to it here as well. Listen to it guys Can't you just say that this tractor is so freaking powerful 
it is just incredibly powerful. I love it. And to test this power today, guys, I'll be trying to transport our potato harvester and we'll be trying to climb with it to our base. You know, there is quite a steep slope over there. We'll try to overwhelm it and just see how well the structure performs. Is it really so cool as they say? Let's go, guys. This is going to be the test for this structure. I think it's going to be good enough and we'll see how well it performs. Yeah, does it have enough grip? What about engine power and stuff? That's, I believe, is, is all we need to know. If the power output is as good as they say. Here you go. Let's just attach our tractor here. And yeah, one more thing here, guys, is that you can see uh, we've got additional lights. And look at that, guys. I, I just This is the first time I'm seeing it. Oh my gosh. Oh my, It is so freaking cool. Look at it. Look at it. Angry tractor. I love it. Yeah. Let's turn on all the lights here. Look at how amazing this thing is now. Look at it. Look at it. Oh my gosh. This is my favorite tractor officially now. I don't know. It's just super duper cool. Amazing. It's just everything I love but enhanced. So let's just connect our trailer here. And by the way, guys, whenever you reverse on this tractor, uh, the rear lights here, they light automatically. Here you go. Look at that. Look at that. Amazing, right? To our base. Let's go. I don't feel any... Oh my gosh, we'd... let's be careful not to tip this humongous thing here. Wow, this is the trail. This is the challenge for our tractor here. To drag such an amazing and by the way i'm not closing the rear thing here only because this harvester is so huge that this thing pushes it even farther behind so it just falls off so i'll try to i'll try to transport it this way here you go do you hear the sound of the engine guys it sounds amazingly powerful i told you that the more powerful the structure get uh, the less speed they can achieve here as you can see uh, this one can only accelerate till 61 kilometers. Oh my, look at that, guys. Look at the slope. 14. Come on, you can do better. 13. <laughs> 12. This is getting hard now. This is getting hard for our Taurus. Taurus, come on. 13 again. I think it's getting, it's getting more powerful now. Turbo mode. Let's turn on turbo mode here. 16 kilometers per hour. Look at how steady this thing goes. Amazing. This is a real test, I believe. Look at how much this uh, harvester weighs, first of all, with the trailer. And then we're going uphill with our trailer uh, dragging this thing behind. This is just incredible power. Look at that. I, I will even stop, full stop, on the most difficult part of our slope here. And we'll try to accelerate here again. Let's go. Look at that. Look at that. <laughs> it drifts. Tractor drifted there for a second. That's how awesome it is. And yes, now I believe that this tractor can achieve full potential of 640 horsepower. This is definitely fact. And um, our case there that is uh, uh, probably as powerful as this one, a bit more powerful. But uh, our case over there is just unbelievably huge so yeah in case you were searching for something as powerful as our case that costs you a bit less of course smaller and is super duper stylish then this structure is for you i personally will definitely use it guys i wanted to share this mod with you as uh, it is i truly believe it is going to be very handy for you on your farm it's just in incredible look at i'll just turn on the lights again because it is just super duper cool look at that guys look at that Wow, amazing. I think this is going to be my screenshot. Look at it, look at it. Super duper. I love this tractor. So yeah, I think this is going to be it, guys. This is going to be a very short episode. I just wanted to share with you uh, my tower structure that I find very, very, very useful, very stylish, and just amazing mod. It is no worse than any standard mod in our game, guys. Uh, I reviewed the JCB DLC recently. I was praising those structures, but in my opinion, this is this one is no worse. It looks 
incredible it feels incredible it sounds incredible and it's just uh, i i don't have i didn't find any flaws so far i'll be testing it even more guys and i'll update you if i find something interesting so yeah that's it for this episode guys let me know what you think about this not this mod have you used it and don't forget to leave a like and subscribe if you're new and as usual guys leave like there is no tomorrow bye bye turn back time do it over again just turn back Do it over again. We need to turn back time. Do it over again. I know you know.